You guys, it's Jeffrey Howells Carpet Cleaning here, and we are back at uh, Bible College out in uh, Northeast Portland. We've got this chapel that we're going to be cleaning up today. Whoa, the steeple's way up there. But anyways, um, we're going to be cleaning up the main chapel area, and then we got some classrooms downstairs to clean up. I'm probably going to be bonnet cleaning them, and supposedly they're already pre-vacuumed furniture and things moved out of the way however the door is locked at the moment and I'm waiting for security to come down and unlock it okay so the Calvary came through and unlocked the doors for us so this is the main area that we're gonna clean up you can see we got some spills and nothing real bad I mean these spills have probably been cleaned up and there's just residue that's left behind which a good encapsulation solution is going to annihilate and make it look brand new. So, that's what we're going to be doing. I thought we had a couple rooms downstairs to clean, but I didn't see any carpeting and all the doors were locked, so hopefully we'll be able to get a hold of someone to verify exactly what is needing to be cleaned down there. It's all concrete downstairs in the hallway. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a basic bonnet cleaning. Um, okay, so here is the product that I'm talking about. Master Blend Soap Free Miracle Carpet and Upholstery Cleaner. It works awesome. Um, it's car carbonated. Um, I don't know what all it has as far as the properties, but it works absolutely amazing. Um, I have, I would assume since it's carbonated that um, once you mix it up, the granule forms, like I've got this two gallon bucket, so I put in roughly four and a half scoops just to give it a little bit more oomph than what the recommended amount is. And uh, working really good. I'm just going to let it sit in there and dissolve. Um, technically, whenever you're doing with granules, it's best to mix with warm or hot water. However, I uh, don't have it in location today, so we're having to use um, cold water, tap water, and uh, one thing about Oregon is that most of our, our tap water is soft. It has um, probably 75% uh, less of the, the, the minerals and sediments in it than um, across the country. So I, working here, I don't have to worry about soft, you know, adding stuff to soften the water or anything like that. Um, don't have to de-skill any equipment. Don't have to do anything. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So you can mix with uh, tap water and not experience um, any deprivation clean deprivation caused by minerals in the water so um, <clears throat> so we'll go from there and we'll see how well we do all right you guys so we're roughly halfway you can uh, distinctly see quite a difference between the clean side that we just went over it looks bright and beautiful um, there is some gum and candy like yeah that guy there and there and there's a few of those around that once we get down in here we're going to come back with a steamer and just uh, steam those out okay here we are we are completed here and I don't want to say that you know I'm totally surprised but I am somewhat dumbfounded that I've been using this product for so long and didn't realize it could be <laughs> used to clean the carpets at um, literally a fraction like a fifth of what the cost of what I have in cleaning so hey investigating some new products lower your cost, give yourself a raise, I suppose. <laughs> so, from here on out, I give myself a little bit of a raise for doing commercial carpeting. And, um, stellar, stellar job in performance on this product. I mean, all the little black nasty spills and everything came right out of the carpets. Um, 
there I am going to go back and I'm looking, 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 looking. There is candy in various spots. I know there's a couple down at that other end. There's a couple spots that look kind of gray and dark. Uh, I'll look for them later. But anyways, look at all these chairs. Like there's a couple hundred of them in here, so perhaps this will be cleaning for another day. Because obviously some of them look like they need a, they need a good rinse, don't they? So um, today doesn't work. I'm gonna be heading out to the coast for the weekend. But this is something to keep on the back burner as a potential cleaning opportunity for a later time. So there you have it, Master Blend Soapless Carpet and Upholstery Cleaner. Works excellent as a bonnet cleaner. Um, blew my mind. So uh, there you have it, Howell's Carpet Cleaning, Southeast Portland for the most part. Um, my name is Jeffrey, 503-939-0534, and I will catch you guys in the next video. All right. With all said and done, um, I probably use one of these canisters. They're about five bucks a canister, so we literally only use about five dollars worth of product, and it really went a long ways. Because um, what I, I thought that I used a little bit more than that, but what ended up happening is that in the multi sprayer, you always have some remnants at the bottom, about 32, 48 ounces left, but the the straw just doesn't the siphon straw just doesn't reach so I just collect them and add them into a, another bottle and fill them up so we literally have an extra two gallons of product left however this stuff is kind of carbonated so um, I have a feeling it probably only has a lifespan of a couple hours so uh, I'm gonna take it and use it as a spotter elsewhere um, I want to test it out because this makes a very inexpensive way to leave a a spotter solution for your clients and um, if you measure it out in like a little Ziploc baggie that they can you know dump into a, uh, a like a 32 ounce trigger sprayer when they're ready to do some spotting you're looking at probably about 10 15 cents worth of product that you're basically giving away to your customers and they're absolutely delighted that they've got some product that's safe and very effective at spotting and cleaning stuff up.